If you've been watching the many inspiring performances in the Paralympics, here's a sport you wouldn't have seen, pole dancing. Most of us would struggle just to climb a pole, but Deb Roach, the 2012 Ultimate Pole Champion, is taking on the world single-handedly. Monique Shafter compiled this report. People's reactions to the fact that I'm a pole dancer are really mixed. Mostly women I'm okay telling, but guys I have to really be able to read. Like if I say I'm a pole dancer, they're likely to see G-strings and high heels um, and strip clubs and, and things like that, and that's not what I do at all. It's very gymnastic. I don't often wear shoes. I keep all my clothes on and I'm not going to ask you for $20 for the, <laughs> for the privilege of watching me. Pole is definitely hard. It's hard for people with two arms. It's exceptionally hard for me. Climbing a pole with one hand isn't particularly different, but I'll take you through the process. You reach as high as you can, you bring your back foot up onto the pole nice and high, but you grab between your kneecaps, pull up, adjust the grip. When Deb was born, I hadn't had an ultrasound, so it was total shock. They presented the baby to me wrapped up with one little hand out of the blanket, and I thought to myself, oh, they've wrapped her other arm up. And then about three hours later, my husband and several doctors came in and, you know, um, there's a bit of a problem. But she was my baby and that was all that mattered. When she was little, we told her anything she wanted to do in life she could do. Some of the things she would do differently to people with two arms, but she would be able to master just about everything else. We could have mollycoddled her and she wouldn't be as driven as she is today. Growing up with one arm was pretty horrible. I was picked on incessantly. I was teased every day, every day. My memories are, and my experiences were of isolation and rejection. At school, I was always the girl that was last picked for the sports teams. I have a very short fuse, a very fiery temper, and if anyone gave me crap, I'd give it straight back. Oh, shock horror. The pole dancing um, revelation. I thought, oh my God, strip clubs money in the G-string. And she said, no, Mum, it's not like that. I'd had such um, chronic self-esteem issues and poor self-confidence before I'd become a dancer. I really felt like I had something to prove. I wanted to get up on that stage and show I was at least as good as those other able-bodied girls, that I wasn't repulsive, that my, my body wasn't disgusting and didn't need to be hidden. I was just as worthy of expression and display and I was just as sexy as they were. It helped me overcome depression, anxiety and long-term chronic illness. I was very angry, um, but not anymore. This is the hardest thing you'll do all day. Guaranteed. She makes me think, well, I need to suck it up sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One more. Well, I think dealing with it with a, a bit of humour is always a good thing as well. Like there's the family joke of she's pretty armless and <laughs> that will come out consistently. With all her achievements, I'm really proud of her. I don't tell her enough, but she's done a lot more than I could do, and I've got two arms. I'm very proud. 
I encourage people to push to their limits, to find what that limit is, to hug it and to try and push past it because we don't get results, get further, um, become better unless we start pushing that boundary.